Hi guys, before I take the nets off and start today's video, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. Um, give my videos a thumbs up if you do enjoy them. There is a bell icon. If you hit the bell icon, you will get notified every time I release a new video. Um, happy days, guys. Enjoy today's video. E evening, guys. It's a bit of a wet old evening. It's been raining quite a bit, so I, I thought I'd check my pond barometers. I tend to do it weekly, so I um, thought I'd do it now after... It's been raining for the last, most of the day. Um, so I've checked my pH, my nitrite and my ammonia. And that's my KH. Uh, we took three drops for that blue colour to change on the KH. So my KH is pretty good. I may buffer it slightly in the morning just to give it an extra bit of colour. Um, it will it will up it a little bit, which I like to keep it around about four drops if I can. Um, some of these test kits are pain to, to sort of read. And what I find better is going from above. So, for example, my ammonia, if you look down there, um, you know, that is no ammonia, it's the yellow colour. And then if I go over to my light right, again, you know, look at the colour on that. So there's zero light right in there at all. Um, and then I do the same in my pH. Now uh, my pH, it's a job to tell exactly, but it's anywhere it's in the sevens, obviously, probably 7.4. But what I did buy for pH, I've been using it for a little while now, is one of these. I got it off eBay. Um, so obviously, it's a digital way of doing it. How accurate they are, I don't really know. But let's compare it against what I think I've got there. It's, it's in the sevens, so... I don't know if you can see that, guys. It's 8.2 at the moment. I'll just leave that settle a second in there and um, see if it uh, see if it comes close to what I've got using the drops. I got a Cockney Koi um, set which I use there, which I've just used for the pH, um, and I use the API or JAPI, whatever they are, to tend to use them as well. That's my wine. Um, <laughs> I, I think that's about 12.8, guys, okay? <laughs> and I haven't got a tool to put in there. But I'll see how I feel at about 10 o'clock and then I'll, I'll know. Sorry if it's echoing in here, it's just redone the concern. I've really got no furniture in here. It's echoing a bit. Right, let's have a look. There you are, that's 7.6 look. So that's seen 7.6 and that's seen 7.8. You know, it's not far off, is it? I wouldn't have thought that's too far away. Don't know what you, what you guys think. So you know, for nine pound, I guess those gauges they are quite good, or they'll give you an indication. They may not be quite as accurate, but they will give you an indication. Like I say, you can pick them up on eBay. Um, you know. Pick one up, guys. See what you see what you think of them. Do a test for yourself. But to be honest, it looks quite good. Okay, guys. So um, I'm happy with my parameters. They're all okay. Um, let me go outside a minute. Next thing is, uh, I think this may be echoing. 
There wouldn't be a video if you didn't see the fish, so. So yeah, I'm happy with my parameters. They're uh, reasonable. Um, I think I will buffer to get the KH up a tad. Um, and then I'll be happy. Raining again at the moment. Typical Welsh weather. Not the best. Hope we can see the fish. The air is on. I keep the air on most of the time. It knocks off when the feeder comes on. And I've, I've got a timer so the air goes off and the fish tend to they hang around them by the feeder because they know it's, it's time for food. Um, and I, I keep it on throughout the night. I don't know what you guys do if, if I should knock it off in the night but I've always been told that the oxygen levels can drop in the night so I tend to put air on just to be safe. I'm also thinking, a mate of mine came up the other day to look at a, a plumbing job for me in the house and he said, oh, why don't you paint those plastic barrels in a grey colour to match the fence? So I hadn't thought of that before, so I may try and get a plastic paint and see if I can get a, a better match. It, it won't hide them, obviously, but it may, it may not look such an eyesore as those blue barrels, so something I may do. Right, getting a bit wet guys, um, hope you enjoyed that, it's only a short video this evening, don't know what your parameters are in the wet, whether they do change, like you say you've got no pergola or covers over my pond, let me know what your thoughts are, there you are guys, thanks for watching, hopefully you can give it a thumbs up for me, all the best now.